Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. This tutorial is about another major component of a computer, the storage devices. These are the components that make up a computer. The input devices and output devices are discussed in our previous videos. Kindly check the link given in the description. The storage devices are required to provide data and instructions to the CPU. The storage devices refer to the computer memory. It holds the data and instructions. Like human memory, the computer memory could also be long-term permanent memory or short-term temporary memory. The computer memory is of three types. The fastest cache memory, the internal memory or main memory, the RAM and ROM, and the external memory which could be hard disk, CD, DVD, etc. As the names tell you, the internal memory is available as chips on the motherboard of the CPU. The external memory are the secondary storage devices that can be plugged in whenever required. The cache memory is the chip that resides on the motherboard. This is the fastest memory. It acts as a buffer between the CPU and the RAM. The cache memory holds only the data that the CPU is currently working with. It is very expensive. The RAM is the random access memory. This is again a memory chip. RAM is a faster memory. The number of RAM chips on motherboard can be increased to boost the processor speed. The RAM contents will be deleted once the computer is turned off. That's why it is called volatile memory. The ROM, read-only memory, is internal memory and resides on the motherboard. As the name denotes, you can only read the contents of ROM and cannot modify it. So, it stores mainly the instructions required to start up the computer. ROM contents will not be deleted even when the computer is turned off. That is why it is also called a non-volatile memory. Now you would have got a clear idea about the volatile memory and the non-volatile memory. This is the motherboard. The memory chips, RAM, ROM, cache are all placed as chips on the motherboard. The other type of memory is the external memory. These secondary storage devices are used for long-term storage of data. These are slower than internal memory, so they are not directly accessed by the CPU. These are some common secondary storage devices. The floppy disk, the CD, hard disk drive, SDD, DVD, USB flash drive and SD card. Now it's time to find how these memory devices work with the CPU. As we had seen already, the secondary storage devices are slower. If the CPU gets all its data from hard drive, it would operate very slowly. So the data is kept in the main memory, the RAM, so that the CPU can access it faster. To further speed up the CPU, the cache memory comes into scene. The cache memory stores the data that CPU needs frequently. Here is how the data flows. The data moves from hard disk to RAM. The frequently used data is then stored in cache from where the CPU retrieves the data in a much faster speed. Now you will clearly understand this memory hierarchy. Ok then, it's done for today. Hope you got a better idea about the computer memory. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.